I'm going to use Burnett 100% cotton handicrafter wool. The green I'm using today is called hot green. The yellow I'm using is one of their scents line and it's called vanilla bouquet. And then just the white. I will be demonstrating how to crochet this really cute daisy dishcloth. It could also be a pot holder if you wish. Um, I have two examples here. So I have this one and then this one here. In this particular dishcloth, I've used the same colors as this one except for the green. This green is called emerald green. You are able to do two dishcloths with like one ball of yellow. This is how much I have left after doing two. So there's plenty to do two dishcloths. I did crochet this one here with a five millimeter crochet hook. This one is slightly smaller because I used a 4.5 crochet hook. Okay, we'll start with the yellow. We'll start with a slip knot. Chain four. And in our fourth chain from the hook, we're going to do 11 double crochet. So I have 11 double crochets in there and I'm going to slip stitch to the top of my chain three. We can fasten it off. So now we have the center of our daisy and we will work with our white next. With our white, we're gonna go into the top of any of our double crochets. even just tie it on. Then we're going to chain three and you're going to double crochet in that same space. Now on the top of each double crochet all the way around we're going to do two double crochet. Just on my last stitch here. So when you're finished, you're going to slip stitch in the top of your chain three. Now before you fasten off, just double check to make sure that you have 12 sets of double crochets. So 12 times two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so now we are ready for our green. With our green, we're going to join it between our, our double crochets. So these two double crochets belong together. So between these two and the next two, we will join our green. can do just a slip stitch or you can just do a little knot. So we're going to chain three. We're 
double crochet in the same space, chain one, and then two double crochet in the same space. Chain one. Now we're going to skip our next two double crochets, the white ones, and we're going to do two double crochet over here in between these two. Chain one. We're going to skip our next two double crochet, two white ones. We're going to go between those in the next set. We're going to do two double crochet. chain one. Again we're going to skip our next two double crochet from the row before, our two white ones. We'll do two double crochet chain one but we're making our corner so we're going to do two more double crochet in the same space. Chain one. So we're creating one side. We have two double crochet, chain one. Then we've got two double crochet, two double crochet. Here's our corner. Two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet. Chain one. We'll skip our next two white ones. We'll do two double crochet again. Chain one, two double crochet. Chain one. Now we're going to do our next corner. So two double crochet. Chain one. Two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet, chain one. Again, we're going between our next set of white, and we're going to do two double crochet again. chain one. I'm going to do our next corner. So two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet in the same space. Chain one. We're going to do two double crochet in our next space. Chain one, two double crochet in between our next two white. Chain one, and then we're going to slip stitch in the top of our chain three. So you should have 32 double crochets and 16 chain one spaces. So we're going to, we've just did a slip stitch on the top of this chain three. We're going to slip stitch into the top of the double crochet next to it. Slip stitch into our chain one space. Now we're going to chain three and do two double crochet in that same space. Chain one and then we're still working in the same corner space. We're going to do three double crochet. So 
So now we're going to skip these two double crochet and we're going to do three double crochet in this space. So we're not doing a chain one between each space. Then we're going to come over to this space between these two double crochets and this is our chain one space and we're going to do three double crochet in here. And we're going to do three double crochet in our next chain one space. Then we're back to our corner. In our corner we're going to do three double crochet chain one, three double crochet. So it's three double crochet, chain one, and another three double crochet in our corner. In our next chain one space, we're gonna do three double crochet. So we do that three times up on this side. When we get to the corners, it's three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet. So we'll continue in that same pattern until we get back to the beginning. Okay, so that was my last set of three in my last chain one space. Now I'm going to join with a slip stitch at the top of the chain three space. And we are finished with our green for now. So you should have 60 double crochets and only four chain one spaces. And those were in our corner. Now we're ready to use our white. With our white, we're going to join into any corner space, chain one space. You can just do a slip stitch if you want, or you can do a little knot. Chain one. In the same space, we're going to do three half double crochets. After our three half double crochets in the corner, we're going to do 15 half double crochets across this side. Make sure that you find the first one over your first double crochet. It's to the right of the stitch. If you skip over that one, you'll just come up with 14 at the end. So that's one. So that's 15 along this side. In our chain one space, we're gonna do three half double crochets. Do 15 along this side. Make sure that you find the first space right there might have to pull these white stitches over to get it. So 
So we'll do 15 along this side, 3 in this corner, 15 down this side, 3 in this corner, 15 down this side. I'll meet you back here. So I'm at the end of my last row, and I'm just going to slip stitch in the, to the top of the first half double crochet. And I've snipped my yarn. Just fasten off. Now we're ready for our green again. With our green, we're going to join into the top of our middle half double crochet that we put in our corner. So one, two, three half double crochets. This is our middle one. So we'll just join there. You can either use a slip stitch if you want or put a little knot. The chain three. And we're going to do a double crochet. We're going to do two double crochet. So that's our corner with three double crochet. Now the last time we had 15 half double crochets. This time we're going to have 17. But we'll do 17 double crochets. So on the top of each half double crochet, you're going to do a double crochet. It'll be 17. Okay, I'm back to this corner. In our middle half double crochet, we're going to do three double crochet. So we're going to continue the same way. You're going to do your double crochets all the way to your middle half double crochet, and then you're going to do three in that three double crochet. And there should be 17 double crochet down here, three double crochet in your corner, and we'll continue to the end. Okay, that's my last double crochet. I'm going to slip stitch into the top of my chain three. We are done with um, green, so we can just fasten that off. So now we're going to go back to our yellow. With the yellow, we're going to join it in our middle double crochet of any corner space. We're going to chain three and double crochet twice in that same space. So now we have three double crochet in our corner space. We're going to sing, um, sorry, we're going to double crochet. We're going to double crochet in each of our double crochets from our last round. So we should have 19 double crochets. If you find that you've, you're have you off by one, I wouldn't worry about it too much because it's only making a dishcloth. It's not like you're attaching squares together and that might make a difference. So I wouldn't go looking for that mistake. Just work with it. 
So when we get to our corner, we'll do three double crochet in that corner. And we'll continue the same way. Double crochet in your double crochet from the row before. When you get to your corner, double crochet, do three. Continue around till we get back to the beginning. I'm at the end of my last row. So I'm going to slip stitch in the top of my chain three. Chain one. Now in that same space, we're going to do three half double crochets. Then we're going to single crochet in each space, in each stitch, I mean. So in the top of all of our double crochets, we're just going to do a single crochet until we get to the corner. Now that I'm at the corner, I've got my three double crochets are in this stitch. That's my corner. So not in our first double crochet, but the second one, we're going to do three half double crochets. So that's our corner, our corner stitch. All along this side, we're going to single crochet right to our corner. We'll do three half double crochets, single crochet to our corner, three half double crochets, and then we'll meet back over here. So I have finished my fourth side, and I'm just going to slip stitch to the top of my half double crochet. Okay, this is our last round. Chain five. We're going to skip a stitch and then we're going to slip stitch in our next one. Chain five. Slip, skip a stitch, slip stitch into our next one. Chain five. Skip our next stitch, slip stitch into the next one. So we're going to continue that all the way around. Okay, this is my last chain five, and I'm just going to slip stitch to the bottom of my first chain five. Just fasten off. So our square is complete, except for the back. There's a lot of work to be done on the back to fasten in all of our, weave in all of our ends. But when it's finished, it'll definitely be worth it. So this is a great washcloth. A dishcloth that you can use. You can also use it just as a pot holder. Um, any hot pots or something, you can lay them on here, which can help to protect your table underneath. So I hope you enjoyed following along in this tutorial with me, and uh, happy crocheting!